The electric vehicle industry is getting some fantastic predictions. Can you guys guess what it is? Yeah, Kathy Wood, who makes bold predictions on stocks and in many mainstreams, is up with exciting sayings from her. Hey folks, it's good to see y'all here again. In today's video, we'll discuss the surprising prediction about the future of NEO stock by Kathy Wood. I know y'all been waiting for this and it's here. So before moving on to the video, make sure that you've subscribed to our channel. If you haven't subscribed, press that bell icon and don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. We want to offer you a little introduction to NEO, even if it isn't required. NEO Inc. is a leader in China's luxury electric vehicle market. They design, co-manufacture, and sell connected premium electric vehicles, pushing the boundaries of next-generation connectivity, autonomous driving, and artificial intelligence technologies. But for the last few months, some sad news has been coming out about NEO. The stocks are negatively impacted, and watch out for this video completely to know what happened. This will make you realize it. NEO, an electric vehicle EV stock, has been in free decline over the past few days, falling as much as 10% as of 12.20 p.m. ET on Wednesday. NEO is one of the many growth stocks that have crashed ahead of the Federal Reserve's policy announcement. Yet investors and electric vehicle manufacturers have been seized by more than just inflationary concerns. After the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission recently decided to strengthen its hold on foreign companies listed in the U.S., investors are becoming more hesitant to put their money into shares of Chinese enterprises. The SEC will achieve this by enacting legislation mandating corporations to disclose their financial statements and other documents for audit. They risk being barred from trading on U.S. stock exchanges if they don't comply. Interestingly, Xpeng is the only Tesla competitor who has piqued Kathy Wood's interest. Wood, the well-known investor who manages ARK Invest, bought shares of Xpeng in one of ARK's exchange's traded funds earlier this month. Indeed, if the dramatic drop in NEO shares in recent weeks is any indication, Wood's decision may have prompted some EV investors to migrate from NEO to Xpeng. NEO has dropped nearly 50% in 2021 and is still dealing with many challenges, including a semiconductor shortage that threatens the company. The prospect of delisting the U.S. stock market stems from the U.S.-China audit compliance problem, as well as increased competition from big EV companies like Tesla and other factors. Before I analyze these dangers to NEO stock, let me go through each issue with its influence. Let me begin with an examination by Kathy Wood, CEO of ARK Invest, and the cutting movements made by the most significant institutional stockholder in Neil Bailey Gifford & Co. Kathy Wood's ARK has destroyed the Chinese electric manufacturer, Neo, in its newsletter. Investors were frightened by the ARK and revealed that the Chinese government was crucifying Neo rather than standing and expanding on its strength and ingenuity. On April 23, 2020, the Chinese government announced a subsidy program for new energy cars from 2020 to 2022. The subsidy proposal featured a price cap for manufacturers who did not offer battery replacement choices, but any such restriction for automakers who did. It was ultimately NEO's best program that benefited from it. According to ARC's research, whether or not subsidies are provided, the economics of battery swapping will result in design limitations and shorter battery lifespan. The Chinese government may further limit NEO's global potential by promoting these suboptimal results if the firm relies on subsidies rather than aggressive innovation to offer competitively priced automobiles. The Chinese government has been crucifying NEO since April 2020, which has two effects. Kathy Woods's ARC has also highlighted that government financial support for a company is a significant barrier to innovation because research shows that government subsidies aren't beneficial for all businesses. These subsidies have adverse effects on a company's ability to grow to innovate. Instead, companies should prepare themselves organically to face challenges. Furthermore, when these temporary financial injections are withdrawn, they have severe consequences for businesses. For example, the Chinese government cut the EV subsidy for 2021 just a few months after it was issued, increasing the financial pressure on these businesses. Second, the United States Senate enacted a law requiring Chinese corporations to certify that they are not owned or controlled by a foreign government. President Trump signed the bill laterally in December 2020. The Holding Foreign Companies Accountable Act requires companies trading on U.S. stock exchanges to have their financial audits reviewed by the SEC. 
The Chinese government will not change its rules, and the U.S. government will not relinquish its legal rights. As a result, a U.S.-China spat has erupted, with several Chinese firms, such as NIO, preparing to exit the U.S. market while keeping their investors in the dark. Let me explain the problem. When investors buy a NEO stock registered on the New York Stock Exchange, they buy a Cayman Island listed firm rather than the original Shanghai based company. Between the NEO company, which is listed on the New York Stock Exchange, and the main NEO firm situated in Shanghai, there are 10 to 20 companies engaged. Chinese law prohibits auditors from transferring specific company financial information outside the country, limiting its visibility to U.S. regulators. To circumvent this issue, a web of phony companies has been established. And did you know that even the New York Stock Exchange listed NEO Inc. does not have access to the audited accounts of NEO? Check out this headline. NEO and other Chinese companies seek to list on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange since they will be delisted from the New York Stock Exchange due to non-compliance with U.S. audit monitoring laws. A well-known investment firm, Bailey Gifford, a top shareholder in NEO, has sold 15.9 million shares, cutting their ownership by 14%. While Bailey Gifford hasn't stated the reasons, I'm confident you won't discover any other explanations than those that I described in this video. The chip scarcity has become an issue for EV players, particularly NEO. Recently, Citibank analysis Jeff Chung conducted a teleconference with NEO management, and reported on May 13, 2021, that the chip shortage had remained the fundamental limitation for NEO's output. The Japan factory fire at Renesis Semiconductor Manufacturing Co. Ltd., a wholly owned manufacturing subsidiary of Renesis, has exacerbated an existing shortfall in semiconductors and disrupted the entire supply chain. The fire burned 11 units over 600 square meters and halted production in the M3 building of the Naka factory at Renesis Semiconductor Manufacturing Co. Ltd. On the other hand, we have to check if there are some positive sides for NEO. The EV NTM revenue ratio of NEO stock is 7.9 times. It has dropped significantly from its January highs. It's also around 14% higher than the three year average. As a result, we feel that the current value of NEO stock is attractive. It's a far more influential organization than it was three years ago. In addition, it has increased its operating leverage dramatically. We believe long-term investors would do well to sit on it, given the solid secular fundamentals that will sustain its rapid rise in the future. We believe NEO's stock will be re-rated in fiscal year 22 if it can continue to improve its delivery cadence. As a result, investors should take advantage of its current weakness and add NEO stock to their portfolios. The effects of the SEC's new law on NEO stock's U.S. listing are yet unclear. Furthermore, XPeng is at risk of being delisted in the same way as NEO is. Some Chinese businesses are already delisted in Hong Kong, and I wouldn't be shocked if NEO followed suit shortly. If you're looking for EV exposure, keep an eye on NEO's forthcoming key event, the annual NEO Day on December 18th, when the firm is scheduled to officially debut at least one new vehicle, possibly its mid-sized car, the ET5. NEO is also expected to reveal the launch and delivery dates for its much-anticipated luxury sedan, the ET7, and growth ambitions for overseas markets, mainly Europe, for 2022. NEO stock could get a much-needed respite if it can please EV aficionados on December 18th. Okay, so that's all for today. Now you'll be clear about NEO stocks and whether you should invest or not. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and share your thoughts through the comments.